What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Today, we do have a review on the Triple Black Ultra Boost 3.0. But you know how I do before I get into the shoe, we get into the box. But the box on this, it really isn't that special. It's a regular Ultra Boost box. Like you guys can see over here all the time. Nothing too new. The size tag, you do have your Triple Black Ultra Boost. I got them in a size eight because that is my size. Ultra Boost on top. Style code is BA. 8920. Moving on with the sneaker, here it is. You have your Triple Black Ultra Boost 3.0. My first thoughts when I first got this shoe, I fell in love. These are super sick. Triple Black has to be one of the best colorways out there. <sighs> Unfortunately, I can't get my hands on the Pitch Black NMDs, but these will have to do for now. To start off, you do have your 3.0 upper, which is mainly what they change and also, yo. As I was saying, you do have your 3.0 upper, which they say what's different about it is that the prime knit is softer, which I can confirm on compared to these. It feels like it is a little bit thinner, so it is softer. It does have that 3.0 pattern. As you guys can see, the stripes on the 3.0, like they kind of just flow backwards or forward. For me, it looks like it's going backwards. And apparently in the 3.0s, the prime knit goes all up on the uppers, even up to the back here. Supposedly on this one, that's not prime knit, which I guess they're right, it's not prime knit. Which is a 1.0 by the way guys but this isn't a comparison video this is a review video so let's continue on with the shoe you do have your cage which really isn't your 3.0 cage for some reason i don't know why they did that the 3.0 cage usually it's more clear you can it's kind of more transparent you can see right through it well not completely through it but it's more transparent however this heel cup on the back usually is the same on every single ultra boost they don't really change that they usually just change the cage and make it more transparent on the 3.0s the padding around the ankle is pretty soft it is pretty tight as well you do have a good amount of padding on the sides here the heel not too much on the tongue you got a little bit more than the heel and it is a tight fit so it does have that snug fit around your ankle and in regards to your laces you do have flat laces however these have like a weird pattern to them i want to say they're like a easy pattern but for flat laces and the tips of the laces are gray pretty plain if you ask me i don't know why they would make it gray i wish they would have made it black it would have made this shoe i mean it would have made this little detail a lot better in my opinion but for some reason the upper isn't exactly a pitch black in the camera i know it looks black from here but if you look at it up closely it, you see those lines it looks kind of like a darkish dark 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 gray or blue tint it just gives like a blue tint to the shoe which i'm not really the biggest fan of which made me think of selling the shoe at first but then i thought about it and triple black i really want i've always wanted a triple black ultra boost ever since the first ones came out so i know i'm probably not gonna get my hands on those but that is like more of a pitch black color so i decided i'm just gonna stick with these and just put these on feet and just go along with my day here on the tongue you do have your adidas logo on this 3m reflective patch like it is on all 350 350s on all ultra boost and back to the heel cup i forgot to mention the ultra boost is in all black and a nice glossy it's not even glossy it's like a matte glossy moving on to what makes this shoe the midsole super super nice i love how they made the finish look it has that really matte look to it love it i hate the shiny look which is probably why i don't like the 1.0s triple blacks because i think those were a little bit shinier i mean that's at least what i can see from pictures but this one has a nice matte finish they say it cracks when you wear it too much or just through stress, but I feel like if you take good care of the shoe, it probably will not crack. And last but not least, you do have your black rubber Continental outsole. If you guys aren't familiar with Continental, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard this by now a million times if you guys watch a bunch of reviews. This is a tire brand. I picked this out for $212 after tax, but regular is $200 without tax. I got so lucky on getting this shoe. Sometime last week at 4 a.m. They restocked on this shoe out of nowhere. I was so surprised. I was like, no way. On Adidas.com. Usually they don't do that. It's kind of random. And I had a devil sitting on this shoulder telling me, you're not going to get this shoe. Don't even try. And then I had an angel on this side telling me, do it. So I was like, whatever. Let me just give it a shot. And I went, put my size in, and it added to cart. I was like, no freaking way. I guess because it was so unexpected. Nobody else was on the website at the time. Well, I mean, there was people on the website, but very few people and i was able to check out through paypal which is quicker so i'm so glad i got this shoe i'm blessed i mean it's not that really big of a shoe anymore it is hype i love the triple black but the hype is starting to die down on it 
and the prices are starting to go down resale wise i think right now they're going for like 250 to 300 at most nothing more than that if you pay more than 300 for these you're dumb you're not dumb just don't do it as for the way they fit i don't know exactly how these fit but all ultra boosts i always go with half a size up from my normal foot size but since this prime knit is a little bit more it gives a little more you can probably go true to size but going up half a size won't really hurt so you'd rather be safe than sorry last thing i forgot to mention was the insole which it is black as well but then you do have ultra boost in gray and then down there it says endless energy and then behind the tongue your size tag before i go i do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is auto checkout nation if you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by my birthday if you didn't understand what i just said just subscribe make sure you stay woke arsenic is signing out alcatraz